Welcome back. The retrial for two men accused of plotting to kidnap Michigan's governor. Today, we got to hear defense attorneys challenging one of the government's most active undercover informants. The man known to the defendants as Big Dan Chapel spent almost all of Tuesday on the stand answering questions. Our Michael Martin has everything that happened in court today. Dan Chapel, a 35 year old Army veteran, is the undercover informant who recorded the bulk of the government's evidence that is now being played in court. Prosecutors hope it helps to convince the jury that this was a real conspiracy, while defense attorneys say it was Dan trying to push them into any sort of criminal activity. We finish with the prosecution's direct exam of Chapel late Monday. First thing Tuesday, defense attorneys for Barry Croft and Adam Fox jumped in to begin cross-exam. Croft's attorney Josh Blanchard questioned the undercover informant's motivations for working with the government. Was it for the money? Chapel said, quote, I wanted to protect lives. That's why I stayed in the group. I wanted to stop bad things from happening to good people. He got Chapel to admit that a new $4,300 laptop that was later reimbursed by the FBI was going to be used for his going to college. Now, Chris Gibbons, Fox's attorney, prompted Chapel to say he was also reimbursed for 17 weeks worth of lost wages from his job delivering mail, as well as a smartwatch. Chapel at multiple points of the investigation told Fox they had access to a credit card with a $5,000 limit that they could use for ammunition, firearms, and anything related to this planning. While Chapel claimed Tuesday that he couldn't recall whether or not the FBI told him to push the credit card idea, Gibbons pulled up a transcript from the last trial where Chapel said plainly that the FBI had instructed him to do that. Inducement is a huge piece of the entrapment puzzle and the failure to entrap, which is really what this case is about at its core. Um, you, you take people that are in the condition that our clients were in the middle of the pandemic, uh, desperate for money, uh, isolated and uh, short of resources. And uh, the FBI attempted to give them $5,000 credit cards, which would make most people jump, I think, at the opportunity to go have a big meal or whatever it is you want to do, as Big Dan testified. Um, no one ever took that card. I think it speaks volumes. We also found out that one of the men who was acquitted on all charges in the first trial, Brandon Caserta, does not plan to testify, plans to invoke his Fifth Amendment right not to do that. We actually ended up speaking to him and his attorney as they were leaving court. My client definitely wants to take the stand. Um, I just just won't let him. Look what the government did to him already. Freedom's good. I'm going to keep it. Enjoy it. After Dan Chapel was done testifying in court, we heard a little bit from Ty Garbin as a government witness. He's one of the two men who entered into plea agreements with the prosecution before the first trial even started. For now, reporting in downtown Grand Rapids, I'm Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. Thank you, Michael. Well, make sure you stay with Fox 17 for continuing trial coverage on air, online, and on our streaming platforms. You can also scan that QR code right there on your screen to check out our previous coverage of this case.